Well, Matt, you've come a long ways and had a couple of close calls a few times, too. Yeah. But here we are at the final question. If you answer correctly, you'll walk away from here with one million dollars. Now, what will you do with the money? You and your wife, Whitney, want a charity, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Is she here? Where is Whitney? Hi, Regis. Whitney, what will this money go towards? Uh, we're planning to build and supply orphanages in third world countries. Well, that's very noble of you two. Well, let's see if Matt and his orphans are about to become millionaires. All right, Matt, here is your question. Who was the 26th president of the United States? Was it A, William McKinley, B, Theodore Roosevelt, C, William Howard Taft, or D, George Washington? I'm not sure, but I know it's not George Washington. Maybe Roosevelt? Would you like to ask the audience? Yeah, let's pull the audience. All right, audience, time to weigh in. Who was the 26th president of the United States? Let's see what they said. Wow. <laughs> Literally 100% of our studio audience feels the answer is D, George Washington. Yes. I'm sorry, everyone, but I, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Are you positive? Yeah. Well, it's a bold choice to go against numbers like that. Mm-hmm. But George Washington was the first president, so he really couldn't have been the 26th. Well, your wife was one of the voters, Matt. <laughs> Are you sure she got it wrong? Well, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, honey, but I don't think that it's George Washington. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, would you like to phone a friend? Yes, my sister Mallory is a professor of history at Stanford. So, well, let's go to the phones. Hello? Hello, is this Mallory? It is. Mallory, hi, this is Regis. I'm with your brother Matt. He's going for a million dollars, but he needs your help. Uh, okay, what's the question? Okay, Mallory, who was the 26th president of the United States? Is it A? George Washington. What? <laughs> no, let me give you all the options. No, I don't need the options. It's George Washington. Final answer. No, Mallory, George Washington was the first president. I need to know who the 26th president was. I heard you, and I'm telling you, it's George Washington. Well, he was a founding father, and he fought in the revolution. Yes, and to honor him, they made him our 26th president. Why would they wait that long? He would have been dead by that point. Isn't it Theodore Roosevelt? Theodore Roosevelt? I don't even think that's a real person. <laughs> Well, she seemed pretty emphatic. But she's wrong. You're all wrong. Are you sure? Yes. This is basic, basic American history. Now, Matt, you could choose not to answer and walk away with $500,000. No, I'm pretty sure it's Teddy Roosevelt. I'm going to answer B, Theodore Roosevelt. Are you sure? <laughs> what? There's a lot of orphans counting on you, Matt. Are you sure you want this to be your final answer? I'm pretty sure. How confident are you? I'm pretty confident. I mean, I was more confident before I started asking everyone. <laughs> it can't be Washington, right? I mean, there's no way I'm wrong about that one. Well, uh, how confident are you? <laughs> well, it's just weird that everyone thinks it's him. And my sister teaches history for a living, so maybe. Would you like to use your final lifeline? Oh, yes, 50-50. Let's do it. All right, computers? Oh. <laughs> this is not happening. It has to be Roosevelt. Now, you could choose not to answer, but if you guess wrong, you'll go, uh, only walk away from here with $32,000, and after taxes, that's more like $2,000. <laughs> no, I gotta go for it. All right, well, a minute ago, it seemed that you had ruled out Washington completely. Yeah, but that was before your little light show and the music and everyone telling me I'm wrong. I don't know what I know anymore. No, no, it has to be Roosevelt. My answer is Roosevelt. Are you sure? Uh... Think about the orphans, Matt. You are the devil, Regis. We need an answer. I gave you one, but you keep making me doubt myself. What is your final answer? D, George Washington. That's incorrect, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs>